Anna on Facebook asked, good morning. Thank you so much for all your videos. I will be coming to New Zealand alone for about one month. And I wanted to ask what are the best ways to, to find travel mates for a few legs of my trip? Because I do not want to travel alone for the whole time. All right, so hard to meet people on the road in New Zealand, basically. That's yeah. why that's why you want to know, Anna. Um, all right, cool. So the first thing that comes to mind are the Facebook groups, right? Uh, we do run uh, two pretty popular Facebook groups, yep. uh, and definitely super easy. Join the groups. Uh, either Laura and I will approve you, maybe depends if you answer the questions. Yeah, uh, there are key questions when joining a group. You need to answer them. Uh, but yeah, so when you do that, then you can tell people, oh yeah, I'm driving from Rotorua to Taupo, for example. Mm -hmm. I'm driving, you know, I'm taking the ferry from Wellington to Picton at that date. You know, is anyone willing to join me? I'm arriving in Auckland at this date. Does anybody want to meet up? For yeah, instance? exactly. Yeah. You know, you guys that really often by the way if you guys want to tell us in the comment below do you guys want us to like host a night in in Auckland do you guys want us to actually have everybody uh have a, you know rent a bar or something and have everybody coming and meeting people I think yeah, have really a cool. backpacker guide night yeah yeah do you, are you guys keen on that just just tell us in the comment below if you guys would be keen yeah um anyway so yeah so the Facebook groups is a really great place to uh to to meet some people and to kind of organize kind of meetups so that's the first thing that comes to mind for me um the next one are hostels Right, hostels is the endemic kind of social travel experience. Um, that's a great way to phrase that. I love it. Yeah. <laughs> um, but yeah, so I, I do really, really love hostel. Like if you're cooking, I mean, the kitchen is the place where I met every single of my travel buddies. You know, you're cooking, you spark conversation, you start chatting, ask what they did today, ask what they're doing tomorrow, kind of meet up, join yeah. up, decide to do it together. It is so cool and I really do love that. The hostel lounge is also really cool because there's always someone playing like a, Foosball or, or billards or snooker, sorry, billards. billards? billards? <laughs> I think it's the fancy snooker. I don't oh, know. is it? Um, <laughs> you won't find any of those in hostels. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, so snooker, so you can always get some people play, playing games or anything like that, join them, chat with people, and, and that's an amazing way to meet yeah. people. I mean, I personally do really like hostels for that. Yeah, even the people in your dorm room, like when you when you like check into your into your dorm room, like introduce yourself to the people that you're you're sharing a room with, ask where they're from, see if, you know, strike up a conversation, see what they're doing tomorrow. If you're going on a hike, ask if they want to come along, for instance. Like, there's loads of ways that, you know, you'll just like naturally be talking and you'll end up socializing and probably end up doing a few things together anyway yeah who you didn't finish that dance fast enough oh. i'm still drinking oh. um all right so uh the other ways to meet people is uh, bars and backpacker nights well literally yeah. what i just mentioned right now you know um like sometimes well you know you have some backpackers night which are organized by your hostels or there are some backpacker bars uh if you want to know more about backpacker bars especially in oakland check out the video we did literally last week about the best backpacker nights here or backpacker bars in Auckland. Yeah. Uh, pub crawls as well. There are pub crawls in Queenstown and in Auckland, which are really fun and you're going to meet a lot of people there. Yeah. Um, but yeah, quiz night also really cool because if you go to a quiz night just by yourself, they always kind of meet people like everybody which is by themselves, they meet them and that makes like the, the you know, the, the, the extra team and it, it's, it's just really fun. So yeah, yeah so definitely think about that. Uh, bars, you know, it's the, it's the so I mean, bars is like social, you know, bars is the new social club anyway. So, you know, like what about that? Actually, there's a bar in Oakland called Social Club in Ponsonby and which is really cool. Latin night and everything. So you should go there. <laughs> anyway, I completely yeah. segue around. <laughs> Um, okay. All right. Then, yeah. <laughs> a final, a final way that you can meet some more people while you're in New Zealand is actually to choose a pretty social travel method. So, some pretty social ways of traveling around is using the hop on and hop off buses in New Zealand, and they include flying Kiwi, um, Kiwi Experience, and Stray. And these are hop on hop off buses. They're kind of like tour buses but flexible we have other videos explaining all that so i'll make sure to put that in uh the description below in the links but anyway the point is that you are sharing um the bus with other like-minded travelers and you know every they're people from all over the world and it's super it's a super social experience and you basically that's like the best way to 
actually be traveling around with people as a solo traveler and actually meeting loads of people and making friends along the way. Um, but alternatively, if you don't have the budget for a hop on, hop off, or you just want to do some quick trips, you also might be able to meet people on the national coaches like Intercity or Skip. Um, these coaches are filled with people who are either traveling New Zealand or just local sort of commuting or visiting family across the country. Um, and they're obviously less social than a hop on hop off bus, but you can still like obviously meet other people traveling, strike up a conversation. It's kind of a hit and miss, but you might get lucky and you might find some awesome travel buddies on there. And uh, the last uh, way to meet people when uh, when traveling in New Zealand is to do activities. <clears throat> now it sounds really silly, but if you go do an activity, even if you by yourself, you're going to be but with a group and then you know well you go through that activities together it's a great way to make friends and I always see people saying oh I want to go do these activities but I don't want to do it on my own well you won't be on your own because they wouldn't run the activity if that was just you so you'll get to meet a lot of people while doing that even when you decide to do a multi-day hike if you decide to do the multi-day hike on your own every single time we've done multi-day hike we ended up meeting people along the way yeah. because while well, you stay in the same hut you know you've been hiking for the whole day you share like stories or or things that you've seen around and you meet a lot of people so you know traveling alone in new zealand is definitely not a solo experience and that's something that really i, I want to drive through right here for any like girl or, or guy to be quite honest which is about to travel solo in new zealand um, this is not a solo experience and and Laura actually addresses that in the video that she's done about uh, female travel in New Zealand or solo female travel in yeah. New Zealand. So we put a link to that video uh, in the description below but traveling solo in New Zealand is definitely not a solo experience that's yeah. for sure. Absolutely. New Zealand has a lot of people doing a lot of things so this should not be one of you Rory Anna and I think you'll be all good. Anyway ton of links in the description below. Um, about uh, traveling solo, meeting people and all of that for you and also a link to Laura's video about solo female travel in New Zealand. I should do a video of solo guy travel in New Zealand. <laughs> yeah. It's not a thing, is it? No, it's not. All right. Anyway, thank <laughs> you for watching so this good. one. Like and subscribe.